What's up guys, see you here with the next showdown live. Um, hopefully a third time's the charm for this because I've actually tried recording this live twice and been really satisfied with it both times and both times it's been completely unusable. Uh, the first time my laptop crashed uh, right before I was about to hit stop <laughs> and like actually blue screen which is kind of annoying um, and then the last time I recorded like an hour live and it was awesome and then I didn't record any audio for it didn't feel like going back and post combing like an hour's worth of audio so I figure I just might as well do it for the third time. Uh, luckily that means I'm pretty uh, familiar with this team. Uh, it's basically based around Mega Steelix and trying to actually use uh, Sand Force as well as a couple of other slow things in Trick Room. Um, I didn't actually have Trick Room on the other build, so I actually don't really know how well Trick Room works. Um, but I realized after testing that I have Gigalith, Jellicent, Steelix, and Dragalge, which all really benefit from it, as well as Honchkrow not really being that fast. Um, this seems actually extremely slow outside of Chosgar of Gardevoir. Um, but kind of quickly going through it, Smooth Rock, Gigalith with Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Explosion, basically just meant to set up and explode on stuff. Um, if I manage to get a rock slide or two off, that's kind of nice. Um, it's better than Stone Edge, which I like to miss a lot. <laughs> Next up is Culverberry Jellison with Trick Room, Recovery, Toxic, and Shadow Ball. Um, I'm not really 100% sure on this set. Um, I've actually not run Trick Room in a battle yet, but I realized after the last live that Trick Room might be helpful. Um, took the corrupted stuff as an opportunity to put it on there and see. And then we have Steelix with Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Roar, and Rock Slide. Um, Uninvested Steelix still manages to wall pretty much anything, even super effective hits, like stupidly well. Um, and then managed to hit back pretty hard with max attack, adamant, um, base 125 attack, um, as well as sand force when it mega evolves, um, which gives 1.3, I believe. Um, sand, or in sand, it gives 1.3 times attack to all of the attacks. Um, and since Steelix is super heavy, heavy slam normally does about like 150 or so, um, and then coming off a of base 125 attack that ends up kind of killing a lot of stuff. Um, so Steelix is pretty important offense, um, Dragalge is also pretty important. Um, I realized Bulky Assault Vest kind of does a lot um, to a lot of things. I'm actually kind of sad I lost that last recording because Dragalge ended up getting like 10 kills or something <laughs> across like uh, four games, which is kind of cool. Uh, but Thunderbolt, Draco, Sludge Wave, and Focus Blast end up hitting pretty much everything. Um, it even actually somewhat gives me an answer to um, non Ice Beam Mega Blastoise, <laughs> which is kind of nice because my team's kind of weak to that. Um, Next up is Honchkrow uh, with Flying MZ, Brave Bird, as well as Sucker Punch, Superpower, and Pursuit. Um, again, Max Attack, Adamant, kind of allows me to hit a lot of stuff. Um, Dark Flying is pretty nice typing, um, and Honchkrow is bulky enough, or offensive enough, to actually kind of kill a lot of stuff. It's not bulky at all. Um, Sucker Punch is good. Um, stab to kind of kill stuff with, even if I'm a little bit slower, which is kind of nice because Honchkrow is not really the fastest thing in the world. Um, and then Pursuit allows me to trap stuff if I want to. Um, it ends up doing actually kind of a lot of damage if stuff switches out. Um, even if I don't actually get the kill, it's nice chip damage. Um, and yeah, uh, Moxie's a good ability that allows me to potentially sweep sometimes. Um, and then finally, I have a Choice Scarf Gardevoir uh, with Trace as the ability so I can copy um, abilities. Um, I noticed that a lot of people run synchronized, but I actually prefer Trace personally just because it gives me uh, a lot of interesting scenarios to play around with. Um, like tracing Sheer Force off of like Nino Queen, for example, is pretty cool. <laughs> um, with Psy Shock, Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, and HP Fire to kind of hit pretty much everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was contemplating mixing up the coverage, but I think that'll be okay. Um, so we will go ahead and find a battle. Um, I don't exactly know how long this live is going to be since I've already tried this like three times. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this team's really scary um, and has Stealth Rock, Sticky Web, and two very scary setup like Game Sweepers as well as the Swallow which completely outspeeds everything on my team. <laughs> Um, he actually has two stealth rockers because DNC is probably that also. Um, I don't really love any of my lead options this game. Because Araquanid is probably a likely lead. Or a DNC. So 
also guess on the off chance it's DNC, I should go GOS because that also covers the cloister lead where he just tries to shell smash turn one. Okay. Um. So I can allow him to go for rocks because that wouldn't really be the end of the world. I kind of would like to get rocks up on his side though, so I might actually just take the earthquake here and go for it if he decides to EQ. Um, Cause he has Cloyster and Swallow and Araquanid that are all weak to it. Um, and I kind of figured he would just go for rocks of his own. Um, I'm kind of okay with that cause I only have Honchkrow that's weak to it. Um, and I could probably afford to go Jealous in here and set up Trick Room, I think. Yeah. Does Trick Room even help me, actually? Maybe I just recover. I'll save Trick Room for later. Um. Okay. Are you like Toxic Stall Araquanid? <laughs> I'm kind of confused why you went straight into this, so I guess I'll just Toxic you. Okay. I mean, he has dark coverage, but I outspeed and can just recover stall this pretty easily, because it's only going to do like 30%. Of course he gets the defense drop, so that's annoying. Um, because now it's going to do like 50 or so percent. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty annoying. Um... So I think I can actually afford to go... Steelix on the crunch and then switch back into Jellicent on the liquidation. That sounds fine to me. Because that'll also kill a Raquinid and get Jellicent back up to f near full, not full, like 75%. Yum. Goodbye. So now he probably just goes line in and sets up and sweeps. <laughs> Or Cloister and sets up and sweeps. Or Swallow and sets up and hits stuff. Basically anything is bad here. <laughs> um, if he goes Linoon, I think I'm forced to... Oh. Okay. Um, his team was very threatening, so I have no idea why he forfeited, but if he went Linoon, I probably would have been forced to just go Steelix and tank the plus six Stomping Tantrum, which I think I would have been able to do. Um, I actually ran that calc with regular Steelix a couple of times in the, um, in the PU Battleground, because I ended up playing Fluko, uh, Fluko twice, and he had Linoon, and I had Steelix, <laughs> so I had to make sure that I was able to live Stomping Tantrum and actually kill it. Um, and I would imagine Mega Steelix, since it has more defense, can take it even easier. Um, I'm a little confused why that guy forfeited. Maybe he just had real life stuff and had to go. <laughs> but we'll just try to find another battle. Um, it's kind of hard to find RE battles, I noticed, because it's kind of an unpopular tier. Um, I'm kind of sad that it is, because there are a lot of like interesting things to battle with and like plan around in the tier. Um, but it is kind of like right in the middle but not even like the higher end of the middle i guess <laughs> um in terms of tiering so i guess people just kind of forget about it um interesting team i see why he has two normal types because he has two things that are weak to ghosts and they're both very scary normal types um so his lead in terms of like, he doesn't have any real hazards or prevention outside of Spike's Chestnut and Rapid Spin Dalmize, I guess. Um, but this kind of seems like the team where he leads Chestnut, and if not, he leads something that's kind of weak to Honchkrow anyway. 
Okay. So, nothing really switches into a Zebra Bird, so I'm just going to go for it, because even if he protects, I still probably do at least like 50% of this thing. Um, that's a probably a vast overestimation or whatever, but this thing is four times weak to flying. Z flying ends up hitting pretty much everything, or Z flying into pursuit or sucker punch hits pretty much everything. Um, interesting team build though by my opponent, because he has dual normal and dual grass. Um, which is kind of interesting team composition, I guess, as well as something that's like four times weak to grass. I think this still does at least half, maybe. Yeah, cool. Um, and he actually can't spiky shield again because he just spiky shielded, so I can just go for a regular Brave Bird now too. Um, oh, that's a two-hit KO, so let's just go for another one. So uh, Adam and Honchkrow ends up actually hitting pretty hard, and a lot of teams aren't really super prepared for it, I noticed. Um, I used to have Mirror Move on this, um, and if you don't know, Z Mirror Move basically gives you plus two attack and then copies the opponent's last move and uses it as a Z move, I guess. Um, so like, say something kills Gigalith with like Scald or whatever, and then I go into Honchkrow, it turns it into Hydro Vortex. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if you actually have to, like, have been the one that got hit by a Scald, and then you can use Mirror Move. Um, but either way, even if it fails or whatever, if they use the status move, um, you get plus two attack off of it and then get to use the Z Mirror Move. Um, so I don't know if this thing is dazzling or not. Um... And if you don't know, Dazzling's an ability that blocks priority, so if I go for Sucker Punch and he has Dazzling, then it gets completely nullified and he probably kills me with Ice Fang. Um, and then I don't really have a ton for Chestnut. But he's probably Strong Jaw, right? Yeah. I just personally know that a lot of people who use Bruxus tend to use Strong Jaw because it is most of the time a better ability. Um, obviously, Dazzling would have completely destroyed me right there, but um, he has a lot of trouble switching into this now because I yeah because I could just superpower Snorlax and probably Oko it. Um, I can Sucker Punch Tauros and probably Oko it, and then I just Brave Bird the other two. Um, so <laughs> quick battle there, I guess. Um, but this team kind of tends to force a lot of quick battles because either I get swept or the opponent gets swept. Um, one thing that I've noticed a lot through playing is um, this team is like so slow <laughs> that a lot of teams don't really know how to play around it, I guess. Um, and then they kind of don't really consider the fact that a lot of the time I'm Choice Gardevoir and then uh, Sucker Punch on uh, Honchkrow to kind of help mitigate it a little bit. Um, I do kind of hope the next game, I, or at least one of the next games, I am able to use Trick Room, because I do think this team could function in Trick Room. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just edit it, or whatever, bear right back. Okay, uh, my opponent has a really cool team, actually. <laughs> um, like, this kind of seems like a team you would use in a league and do pretty well with. Um, I don't see a trick rumor, so Mega Camera Up is just there to be Mega Camera Up, I guess. I had no idea Meloet is all the way down in RU. That's kind of dumb. Um, his rockers are Camera Up and. Tyrantrum, Spinner is Serena, possible defogger of Honchkrow, but probably Spinner, Serena. Um, leads are probably either Volt Switch, Heliolisk, Tyrantrum just to punch shit, or Mega Camera up just to punch shit. Um, 
So Gigalith actually isn't the worst play, I guess. I am a little nervous about giving Tyrantrum a Spadef boost. Um, oh, let's turn that weirdness off. <laughs> uh, my laptop has a weird tendency of doing that sometimes where the audio, where the audio just does whatever it wants to do. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead Gigalith here and either get an earthquake off or get rocks up. Which one would help me more? Um, probably rocks. Limit the amount of times Honchkrow can come in, ideally. Um, and I think I can afford to go Steelix here. I don't love going Steelix on this. Because if it has like Grass Knot or Fighting Z, um, I just kind of drop. So I guess I'll go Drake Algae because I have an Assault Vest and should be able to take anything that this thing wants to go for. Um, and he goes Melobata? Yeah. Um, on the incoming Psyshock, I'll just go Honchkrow. If he reads that and goes for Moonblast, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for Pursuit and assume this thing switches out, but he just goes for the Focus Blast. Good play. Um, someone brave enough to run Focus Blast and have it actually land. <laughs> I have Focus Blast and I'm just terrified of it. Um, so. I really wish he didn't have Mega Camera up because this would actually be a great opportunity for me to go Jellicent and then just go for Trick Room. But because he has Mega Camera up, I can't do that at all. Um, I can go Gardevoir, Trace Serene Grace, and lock myself into Moonblast so I can get Camera up in and then go Jellicent though. I think that's a better play. Yeah, because if I go Psy Shock, he just goes Honchkrow. And no, he can't go Time Ranch from either. He could go Heliolisk, I guess, if he wants to. But Camera Up resists, so I don't know why you wouldn't go into that, I guess. Um, hello? I'm just going to click Moonblast again. <laughs> Did he forget he's a dragon? Or did he, was he also Scarfed and did not know that I was Scarfed? Okay, so he goes Camera Upt, which means I go Jellicent now. Um, Tyrantrum being gone is actually very nice because that thing's pretty terrifying. Um, not that this isn't, <laughs> but Tyrantrum's even scarier. Um, I'm just going to recover because um, there's not really a ton that I can actually do to make it Camera Upt. Um... I think I can go Dragalgy here on a Trop Kick or Power Whip. Because I need to kind of do damage to Serena so I can go for the rest. He makes a good play and just goes for Rapid Spin. Um, but he doesn't really have a great switch into Draco now. So I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> he actually doesn't have a switch into Draco period, but he especially doesn't now. Um, knocking off the Assault Vest is a good play though because he's going to end up doing a lot um, with either Mega Camera Up or Heliolisk at this point. Um, he could also try to go Honchkrow and go for Pursuit and try to yeah get a Moxie boost. Um, if that's the case I'm just going to stay in and Thunderbolt. Um, I get a Para which is cool. Um, I guess I'll try to save this and just go Gigalith. If he goes for Pursuit now, good play. But I don't want to give him a free Moxie boost. Um, and I don't really need Gigalith anymore. Um, but I am going to use this opportunity to try to get my Mega Evolution up. Because I think he's Scarfed. Scarf Knight slash Moxie, maybe. Um, and Heavy Slam honestly does a lot to anything even though Heliolisk resisted it's still gonna do a lot <laughs> quote unquote resisted um so i'll just go ahead and sack Dracology here and then either just double back oh yeah that's perfect um 
Um, and then now I can't afford to go... I really, like, actually don't have anything for for camera up, so I actually have to hope I outspeed. And I don't think I do. And I just have to go for an earthquake and hope Mega Steelix can save me. Because I only have Shadow Ball and Camera Up, uh, or on a uh, Jellicent. And I mean, if he goes Honchkrow, I actually like really don't care at all. Um, me confidently going Steelix might make him think that I'm like some weird max speed Steelix, because max speed Steelix actually does outspeed. <laughs> um, I'm not invested at all, but I'm also kind of taking slash hoping that he's not either. Um, and he's not, which is cool, which means I'd end up cleaning up with Mega Steelix here, uh, many forfeits. So, cool. Uh, this team is pretty much doing everything that I wanted to do now. Um, I really like haven't found an opportunity at all to use Trick Room yet. Uh, really interesting team, though, by my opponent. Um, I'm gonna guess that this Meow Stick has Prankster Rain Dance. Um, I'm a little confused. Unless that's just like Refrigerate Aurorus. I've never actually battled an Aurorus before, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm actually gonna compliment his team, because I've never seen a team like this before, so that's cool. <laughs> um, Linoon is scary as usual, uh, but I should probably try to uh, Mega Steelix as soon as possible. Um, I don't really actually. Maybe I can just lead Steelix. Because if he leads Chestnut, I'll just go into either Dragalge or Jellicent. And if he goes Aurorus, um, I don't... Do you stay in? I can't tell if you stay in here. I don't think you do. You do. That's annoying. Oh, but you get rocks up and die. Rocks up and sash. That's okay. Um, so unfortunately I actually have to switch because um, the incoming probably ice type attack, probably ground type attack is not going to be ideal for me. Um, this might actually be <laughs> the game finally where I'm able to set up trick room because um, I think I actually have to go for... I think I have to go for it now, actually, because if I go for Shadow Ball, kill this thing, and Linoon comes in, I have nothing for it. Um, so I'm actually just going to go for the Trick Room now. I love the Freeze Dry, which is fine. Um, and now that I outspeed under Trick Room, I can actually just go for a Shadow Ball kill this and I don't think he can afford to go Linoon because he doesn't want me to have Will-O-Wisp on here also. Um, so he probably goes... Meloetta? I can't really think of what else he would do with Meowstic or Linoon. So I don't think he risks setting up right now. Um, if I wasn't under Trick Room, this would be a good opportunity for him to set up and just try to go for stuff. Um, maybe not because of Steelix, I guess, but because um, I think Mega Steelix even needs a plus six uh, stomping tantrum pretty easily. Um, I am going to politely hit you with the timer though, because as much as I want to hang out here and let you have your time, um, I gotta go, sort of soon. <laughs> um, so, he does go Meloetta, probably for the Shadow Ball. Um, my switch for that, unfortunately, is only Honchkrow. So if he reads that, that's annoying, but he doesn't. That still does a ton. He might be Specs. Um, I'm going to go for the Pursuit as he switches out. Because he still doesn't actually kill me, so he doesn't want to stay in for this hit, I think. Um, and if he switches out, he goes into Kingdra. 
who I probably just see Brave Bird. Sweet. Goodbye, Meloetta. Oh. No. I will absolutely. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, I will now go Steelix because I am not letting you set up for free. Um, I could roar, but honestly, I'm just going to heavy slam and do damage because I don't even think at plus six this thing kills. Um, and I don't actually think Meowstic can kill me, but I also don't want... I also don't want it to do what I know what it's going to do and set up screens. So let's go for the roar. Okay. I'm alright with this, actually, because this allows me to sack Jellicent here, I think. Um, and I'm sacking Jellicent at this point because it's sort of a liability. Um, mainly because it just gives Linoon a setup. Um, I'm sort of trying to stall out um, Reflect turns because uh, Prankster Meowstic is super annoying. <laughs> Especially paired with Linoon in the back. Um, him going Kingdra is actually perfect because this forces him to Draco, I think. It probably actually doesn't. Um, but I'm going to try to trick him on the off chance that he doubles here. Um, he doesn't, which is nice because now I just get to go Gardevoir, I believe. Um, I'm just trying to see if Sand is actually better. Do I think you're Specs Kingdra? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I set up sand or do I go Gardevoir? Because if I go Gardevoir, I Moonblast, this dies, Ego Meowstic, set up a light screen, and then Linoon lives. So that doesn't work. I go Gigalith, set up sand, either your choice and switch out, or I get an explosion off on something and get momentum. That sounds better. Although I guess I should actually try to set rocks first if I can. So if he switches, he's pretty... Well, I mean, he's also minus two special attack, and Gigalith is pretty bulky, so he's probably going to switch anyway. But... Oh, he's Kritra. That's terrifying. Um, so I'm going to explode now. <laughs> um, I think I actually just lose. I, I wasn't expecting him to be Kritra at all. I guess I would have known that if I went into this originally and just traced. Um, so unfortunately, I kind of sacked Gigalith. Um, I guess it wasn't really the end of the world because I didn't really need Gigalith, and Moonblast should still kill this. Um, most sniper uh, focus energy sets run uh, scope lens so they can get 100% crit. Um, Interesting set though, for sure, because uh, Sniper Kingdra is fun. Um, I've never really like gotten to set it up in a game before, but I guess it kind of works well with Meowstic, so that's actually kind of interesting. Um, Moonblast does kill, thank fucking god. Um, unfortunately, he's just going to go Meowstic and set up a light screen now. Um, So I have to go Steelix in case he has Thunder Wave. And then I have to... I actually have to Heavy Slam now so he can't set the Reflect again. Because I think he's actually forced to switch because of the way the Reflect worked out. He only has one turn left. Um, so this Meowstic's actually proving to be kind of annoying late game, so I think he's forced to switch into Chestnut here. Oh, he went for the Yawn, that's a good play too. Um, unfortunately, if he goes Linoon, I have to 
just stay in and go for heavy slam because reflect is off i'm willing to let steelix go to sleep if it means linen's gone um that's fine i can go dragalgy now because i don't think there's anything chestnut can really do to dragalgy are you sub belly drum i'm just gonna spam sludge wave uh sludge wave should break a sub i don't know why it wouldn't um <laughs> adaptability even through a light screen kind of just adaptability plus a weakness through a light screen you are sub belly drum holy crap okay Double belly drum. Um, I'm not 100% sure if Dragalgy lives. Wow. Good shit, Dragalgy. Cool. Um, and then die. No, oh, don't die to Sandstorm. That's actually kind of bad. Because um, I would have liked to have been in with Steelix here. Because <laughs> I think I lose now. I have to go for... Um, Draco and hope it kills. It doesn't, so I think I lose. Um, unless I kept this healthy enough, but I'm not sure I did. Um, maybe it is. Oh, good shit, Steelix. Cool. So uh, I was uninvested in defense, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna live that. But uh, if he lived, or if he killed with the stomping tantrum, he obviously had extreme speed in the back and would have been able to outspeed my choice scarf Gardevoir. Uh, so really fun game with the last one. Uh, this is probably gonna be my last game, um, but this has been a pretty fun live so far. Um, I think I'm like somewhat medium high-ish on the RU ladder now, so I'm actually playing a lot of people who like definitely know what they're doing. So it's <laughs> picking up and fun for sure uh rocks glygar potentially defog glygar rocks dnc defog here set up scarf or sash so i want to get rocks up because if he leads i don't have a great switch for rotom but that's fine um, I kind of care about rocks being up on your side a little bit more because I don't want that to be Sash Houndoom. And I don't really care at all about that. <laughs> um, so I can go hard Jellicent now and bluff a move to actually hit this thing with. Um, this is a fairly decent time actually to set up Trick Room, so I'm just going to go for that. Um, Because now I can afford to go... Nothing has ice coverage, which is really annoying for a Gligar. Um, Shadow Ball's not going to do anything, and it's probably immunity. I don't know if it's worth wasting a Trick Room to find out if it's immunity or not. Um, Steelix isn't super useful this game, so I think I can afford to be pretty aggressive with it. Um, I force a Leaf Storm here, so I go Dragalgy, and I get a Sludge Wave off. Cool. And I have two rooms of Dragalgy under Trick Room, which is nice. Um, it's resisted, but it's still not going to do very much. <laughs> um, I think I might just go for a Draco, honestly, because I really don't have very much for this. If he kills me, it's fine. He doesn't. Um, so as he goes for a roost, I go Gardevoir, trace his immunity, or at least see if he has immunity. He does have immunity. Um, and now I can go safely for a Moonblast. I really wish I had HP Ice instead of HP Fire, but that's okay. Um, I can afford to finally Mega Evolve Steelix, I think. Um, rocks being up is obviously annoying, but it's not really the end of the world. Um, I kind of want to actually roar and see what his initial switch is for me. So it is Gator, which is fine. Glagar comes out, which honestly is kind of...
kind of also fine, because I have to imagine this is a two-hit KO. And I don't really need health on this thing. And Glagar doesn't do damage, so... <laughs> um, so I force a roost here. Um, unfortunately, I can't really, like, do anything with that, but it's nice that I force it. I think I have to go hard to Crow and just hope that a Z Brave Bird is able to do enough to this thing. Um, or hope that he doesn't know about Honchkrow and hopes that I go for a knockoff here and switches out. Um, damn it. Um, but luckily that into Brave Bird is going to kill, so I'm just going to click that now. Um, I'm gonna probably sack Dragalgy here because it's not coming back in because I don't have removal. Moonblast, that's fine. Um, I need to get Sand up because I need to pressure his team more. Um, and predicting that Gligar to come back in, I'm actually gonna go for a Rock Slide. And I miss. But now that that Gligar is afraid to come back in, I'm gonna set up rocks. So it makes it so I can basically revenge it with anything. Um, Cause now I can afford to go Jellicent. I wanna keep this around just to set sand one last time. Um, I'm kind of regretting only having Shadow Ball as my stab for this cause it's a little annoying. Um, but I can set a trick room here. So since I'm gonna die next turn anyway, I'll go for a toxic and try to wear this thing down, but I'll miss, <laughs> of course, it's fine. Um, Cause between the toxic and the sand, I die, so I can just go Steelix and Heavy Slam. Um, nothing switches into this, into Earthquake. Um, Rotom does, but whatever. Um, so he sacks Gligar, which is nice because I think that was his main defogger based on how he's been playing it. Um, I don't think he'd have defog on both Gligar and Rotom. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm going to get sand up again this game. So I'm just going to stack Gigalith. Because this lets me go Haunch Crow, get off a Pursuit. So now that's basically dead when it comes back in. 218, you under speed. Um. I'm trying to figure out if I save this as a sack for later, or if I just go for the superpower and get- no, because damage doesn't really matter, I'll just go Steelix. Is it resist in worst case scenario, I get lower my attack and oh no. So Heavy Slam again, still does damage. And now I can actually afford to spam Earthquake, which is even better. Um, the only reason I couldn't before is because of Rotom. Um, honestly, I actually probably live a liquidation from here, so I'm just gonna go for the... Well, no, it actually... No, because I can't let this thing get a free Dragon Dance. I have to go for a Roar. Actually, I have to go for a Roar, because if it sets up... I believe it outspeeds. Oh, it doesn't. So if I go for an earthquake, lower my health, come in with Guard of War, but Guard of War can't hit Houndoom, which is just in the back anyway. Um. I think I have to make a read for him to go for Dragon Dance and go for a Roar. Okay, so I thought I lived that anyway, but it's whatever. Um, 
country your force here and I think that might be enough to kill this with a moon blast um, he just goes hound doom after and it's whatever um, it's not enough unfortunately so GG um, I'm just gonna go in four for that cuz I'd lose anyway um, I'm gonna grab one more and then I'm gonna call it a live just because I don't really like ending on a loss and it seems like people this game or the, tonight are actually playing RU which is nice. Um, Yan Mega is very very scary um, so are DeBlade and Mega Blastoise and Florges and Snorlax. So what do I do to actually beat this team? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, Trick Room's gonna be kind of helpful once I get rid of the blade for sure. Um, so luring into blade, I would need to get Gigalith in, but Sand kind of helps anyway. So let's just lead Gigalith. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I think I have to rock slide because I'd have to imagine you're gonna sub. You're either going to protect your sub, but I don't want to let you get a free substitute off and then actually be behind my team, or behind a sub, and just kind of start spamming my team with stuff. Um, and seeing as how this is the only thing that's weak to rocks, and I don't really see a Focus Sash user on his team, it's not like super important. Um, I would rather, yeah, I was going to say I would rather just force this thing out and go for a rock slide, I guess. Um, so assuming this is Mega Blastoise, I kind of have to go Dragalge because it's my main switch into this. Um, it doesn't really take an Ice Beam super well, but at least it's not Mega Launcher boosted. <laughs> um, and Toxic wouldn't have mattered anyway. Um, so I can afford to go for a T-Bolt here, even if he goes Nido Queen. I just have to switch into Jellicent anyway. Um... I don't even think Focus Boss is gonna kill, so I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Um, and I don't really want you to be Curse Lack, so let's just go Steelix and try to punch you while you can. So if he is Curse Lax, okay, he's not. Um, so I can afford to <laughs> only does 40. That's funny. I'm so used to Heavy Slam doing like a million damage that seeing it only do 40 is pretty silly. Um, so luckily, Mega Blastoise is actually pretty close to dying. Um, he may read me here now that he sees that my initial switch is Dragalge, but um, it still has better spitf than Jellicent anyway, <laughs> and I would kind of like to keep Jellicent's Cul- Oh. Jellicent's Culperberry actually doesn't matter at all now that I look at the rest of his team again. Yeah, so that spares me being red there. <laughs> um, and if he goes for a Dark Pulse, I should be able to live um, is Trick Room beneficial, or is just recovering the full better? Well, Trick Room actually doesn't help me if he goes Snorlax. I have to hope he doesn't go hard to Blade here, and I guess I'll just go for a Toxic. He goes Nido Queen, which is also a good play. Um... I think I'm gonna gauge if this thing is life orb or choice and go for a recover because earth power should do a little over 50 I think yeah so I think that's um, I think that's life orb which is fine but I don't really have a ton for <laughs> so it's not super fine I think I have to go hard guard of war on the other earth power trace your force oh it just goes toxic spikes which is fine um, let's go for a Psy Shock because I need to scare it out and it still does more to floor just anyway, I think. Um, let's 
So I'm not really too worried about toxic spikes because it does force me to go drink algae at some point, but I kind of get to go drink algae often. A uh, very good double back into Nido Queen though, because um, now I have to take an Earth Power with something. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go Haunch Crow on the Earth Power because this allows me to potentially get off a Z Brave Bird. No, because everyone is running fucking like <laughs> timid Dino Queen. Um, so as you can see, Nino Queen's a pretty big issue for this team, which is kind of annoying. I think I'm forced to actually hope that I can take an Earth Power, which I know I can't, but I need to get... Um, yeah, so I'm a little bummed out, and I'm probably just going to edit this to end a little earlier, honestly, because I don't really like how this live is ending. <laughs> like, the team worked really well and then stopped working entirely. Um, so I have to make a read and go for an HP fire, assuming he goes to Blade here. If he doesn't, it's whatever. Well, he's not going to go to Blade now that he sees that it's resisted, because... Well, he may actually, because it may be HP Ice. Uh, this is still super effective, so I'm fine. Um, he sees that it's not HP fired, or that it is HP fire probably though, because it didn't kill. Um, and he might be tinted lead specs, based on the fact that he didn't outspeed. Um, I'm like forced to go Steelix here. I don't think I can win this game, but it's whatever, yeah, because he just keeps doubling into Nido Queen. I have to just hit this with an Earthquake and hope I can live. I can't, so it's whatever. Um, the team's really weak to Nido Queen, as you could tell. Um, to be fair, a lot of things are because Nido Queen just has really good coverage, and since my team is ridiculously slow, it happens to actually outspeed stuff, which doesn't really help. Um, but like, overall, I would say that was a pretty good live. Um, it started off a little stronger than it ended, <laughs> I guess. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the team. Um, Trick Room actually seemed to kind of do a little bit more on that fourth slot than the other moves did, so that was kind of nice. Um, and I think everything, honestly, at least offensively, put in a little bit of work. Um, Gardevoir was probably, honestly, surprisingly the least useful member, um, but it normally had the threat of coming in late game and cleaning up, even if it didn't actually do anything. Um, so... Thank you guys for coming by. Uh, drop a like and subscribe if you're interested because I try to do this fairly often. Um, I know I've only been like once a month with my showdown lives lately, um, but I am trying to improve about that and be a little more regular with my videos. Um, so if you ever want to make a video or anything, by the way, hit me up because I'm pretty interested in that. Um, so thanks guys and I'll see you later. Bye.